So I've stopped and I'm going to spend the night here at this rest stop on the Polish S7. It's now approximately 1915 and whereas it, we've got a couple of hours before it gets dark, I wanted to stop because I will have to go on the internet to do my um, live premiere and I'll have to prepare that. So that, that starts at around, let's say, 8.30 at the, at the uh, latest. So it would give me an hour and an hour to find somewhere to stop. Well, I may as well just stop here. Now, it's not as nice as where I spent the last several nights, uh, but all the same, it's not too bad. This is located in the Masurian Lakes area. Um, this is, I'm heading towards uh, Olsztynek, which is only about, well, I haven't thought it was much more, about 12 kilometers from where I am right here. And so I'd have to leave this dual carriageway, which is brand new. This is the first time I've ever been on the dual carriageway, which is here. And so from here, at, what five kilometers or so to do and then then i'll be get to where i, was go, I want to go to but i'll get there tomorrow morning i'm going to see something called the tannenberg memorial and the tannenberg memorial was wasn't ever very long it was built to uh, celebrate the battle of tannenberg in the first world war uh, built in the 1920s it was actually blown up in january 1945 someone want to see what the the bits that remain of it but i thought i could do a little bit of a story around that it was the resting place of uh, president hindenburg his own um, plantation his uh, farm if you like uh, his, his property his place called neudek which was approximately what 25 kilometers to the west of there so i want to see that as well not, ex not expecting anything to be there and uh, anyway so here this being a brand new location I head down there uh, we've got the the toilet uh, building which is uh, it's done in a rather unusual way because most of these things just copy the same as they are in Germany so it's very very similar to the German way of doing things uh, it's the first time I've been on this road. Uh, last time I came down here, travelled from uh, Gdansk to Warsaw in June 2011. That's the last time, so it's been nine years. Uh, nearly nine years. Well, two weeks' time will be nine years since I came down here last. And then it was under construction. But now it's, it's, it's ready and it's been done. So, I've got this building here, which is quite... Uh, unusual i won't show you inside the toilets i'm sure you've seen the toilets before but it was very clean and the water was really hot and uh, beyond that we've got a sort of a place to sit down over there there's a gentleman i think he looks after the place or maybe he's a lorry driver i don't know unfortunately there's no place for campus i was rather hoping to find a uh, place to dump my black water off at but there isn't one here there was at the last one i came to and uh, there isn't really a particular place for me to park at and i thought i suppose i could have parked down there but i'm sure a lorry driver would appreciate it more than me apart from that it's next to the, the where the traffic's going and that i didn't really want and uh, Parking there for the buses next to the toilets. And there's the road. Now I seem to recall uh, coming down here before, so I think that this is in the same place as where the road was. At least it seems that way to me from here. Good, so uh, this is where I'm going to spend the night. Now, I had a particularly really interesting day today. It was a place called I Iwovo Osada, uh, which is the north of uh, Mwava. I arrived there yesterday, so I spent all day yesterday there. I arrived there yesterday morning quite early, and uh, half of today, a lovely place to uh, park next to a uh, church. 
and a uh, very peaceful place, much much more peaceful than here. I I thought Iwovo said it was extremely interesting. It was a former border railway station. This is just the sort of thing that appeals to me. And I, did, I prepared a video, which I think actually I've done most of it. And I think it's quite it's one of my better ones because it shows a little bit of research that you had to do and it's described how the conditions that the uh, emigrants uh, had there in the 19th century. And I uh, used this bath. I'm doing research. And... Um, it was it was very curious to actually be there. It was one of only five places in what was then Germany where emigrants from Russia, as Poland didn't yet exist, and lots of people were emigrating from Russia. And so if you, uh, your ancestors, it's grandparents or great-great-grandparents, uh, came from Russia and you now live in America somewhere, then there's a pretty good chance that they went through that place, Iwova or Sada. Anyway, you can see that in a different video. So, this is me, uh, near the location of the Battle of Grunwald uh, from the 15th century, a battle of Tannenberg from the First World War, uh, and the Tannenberg Memorial, not, not so far from there, signing out.